Welcome friends. So the last time that we met, we uh, shared together the book called The Technology Tale, and we did activities about being good citizens online, being safe and being smart. And today I have a different book to share with you about being safe and smart online. Um, and when we're done, um, with the book, then we're going to have our Zoom discussion. Um, I would like to write down some ideas of things that you think about being safe and smart online. So when you're done with this video of our story, I want you to join our Zoom meeting so that we can talk about ways that you can be safe and smart online, okay? And so the book that I have to share with you today is called Once Upon a Time Online. And it says, Happily Ever After is only a click away. It's by an author named David Bedford, and it's illustrated by Rosie Reeve. So this is Once Upon a Time Online. Once upon a time, not long ago, a boy named Jack wa watched a beanstalk grow. He wanted to climb it, but from somewhere up high, a tightly wrapped package fell from the sky. It's a present, thought Jack. He untied the string and inside discovered a flat, shiny thing. What are you? Jack asked, and what do you do? He ran off to look for someone who knew. He found Cinderella with a bucket and mop. I know, she declared. It's called a laptop. Cinders threw down her mop, and before Jack could stop her, she became the first fairy tale online shopper. I can do lots of stuff, but the best thing of all, with this laptop's help, I shall go to the ball. Then Little Red Riding Hood peeped round the door. I've outgrown my cloaks. I could do with some more. She sat down and ordered two red cloaks with hoods and a phone just in case she got lost in the woods. Soon Rapunzel swept in with her hair piled high and exclaimed, there is something I just have to buy. The three little pigs dropped in looking for sticks and quickly bought straw and a truckload of bricks. There's a lot of online shopping going on. Then the big bad wolf with his huff and a puff pushed his way in and said, that's enough. You've all had a turn. Now the laptop's all mine and I'm going to use it for gaming online. Early next morning, hooray, they all cheered when all of the things they had ordered appeared. It's a lot of things. Cinderella got ready and went to the ball without meeting her fairy godmother at all. With the help of her phone and a clever new app, Red Riding Hood set out to follow a map. The little pig's houses were built on the double. Wolf was too busy gaming to cause any trouble. And Rapunzel didn't have to let down her hair. She just turned on her tablet and the prince was right there. So they all lived happily ever after until Cinderella was given a very long bill.
Then the three pigs got bored and started complaining that life was too dull when the wolf was just gaming. And Red Riding Hood, busy watching her screen, walked into some brambles that she should have seen. Do you know what brambles are? Help, cried Rapunzel from up in her tower. My tablet's not worked for over an hour. And the big bad wolf didn't know what to do when the giant wanted to play on the laptop too. How I wish we'd never seen a laptop. Someone please, please make it all stop. And then suddenly, ping, out of thin air, Cinderella's own fairy godmother was there. Don't worry, she said, all will be fine, but you must ask a grown-up before going online. With a wave of her wand, the bill went away. Fairy godmothers are allowed to use magic to pay. Now, children, she said, you've only begun to discover online. Time to have fun. She showed Rapunzel a new style for her hair. And taught the wolf that it is good to share. Wolf said, I guess gaming together is fun, even though Little Red Riding Hood won. While Jack and the Giant worked on two screens to make a home movie called Our Magic Beans. Now when going online for something or other, everyone first checks with the fairy godmother. The fairy tale folk are all feeling just fine, living happily ever after online. So boys and girls, today we're going to talk about um, reflections on the technology tale story and once upon a time online in our Zoom meeting. Um, so we're going to talk about how to be safe and responsible online. Uh, and I will be writing down some of your ideas so that we can post them in our Google Classroom. Okay, so once you're done with this video, go ahead and head to our Google Classroom. Our Zoom link is there.